now comes what is often thought to be and can be the scary time. This is where I put the first bit of paint onto my beautiful blank virgin piece of watercolour paper. Now I hope you can see everything. People say they like to see me go into the paint box. It's sometimes difficult to get in the frame. So you've got the picture there to refer to. There's your paper. There's my box. I've already started off by putting a bit of the Sennelier yellow, the raw umber and the Payne's grey onto that palette. So where am I going to start? Good question. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this in thirds. We've got from the top down to, which is where as far as we can see of the ground really, that bit. And then we've got this bit here, which is the bank, the stream, and then this bank. So if we, if we sort of break it down in sections, I think that's probably a good way to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with this background colour upstairs, not upstairs, in the top, I mean. And I'm going to wet the paper first to about, I mean, look, we're virtually doing it the same size, so that's going to help you. I've just put some registration marks, as we call it, on the paper just to give me a guideline of where I'm going to be painting. So I'm looking at down to about here. So I am going to wet the paper on that top half there and I'm not being precise about the edge it's going to be pretty vague okay now I'm going to take with that big brush some of the chrome yellow some of the raw umber and a little bit of the Payne's grey and I am going to test it perfect See how really wet it is. This, as I say, is going to be a very relaxed, fluid painting. So that's that first bit. And I'm going to gently wipe that out. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back and put some more on. In fact, I need to mix a little bit more, which of course we always should mix enough, shouldn't we? But it doesn't matter for something like this because we really, if you look at it, we've got sort of bands. So I'm going to, now I've sort of um, made the marks, so to speak, started it, now I feel a bit more confident. I can go in and actually put some of these bands Twist the brush, use it from a different angle. Don't actually didn't want those to go that high. Never mind. So do try and be conscious of what you're doing. And with a dry brush. You can soften out those marks. Now, I'm not too w worried about this edge because we're going to have some ground put in. Still want to lift out a bit more from up here. Dry that brush off and soften it. Take it across and soften it out a bit more. Now this must be very pale for you. I hope you can see it okay. And I am going to call that the first layer. Now, can you see how these rays of sunlight here are very much stronger? So how do we do that? we have to make this darker. 
So while it's still damp, I'm just going to get a bit more of this colour, the hair in there. So I say it doesn't matter if it isn't exact. And I'm going to change brushes now. I'm going to go to what's this? A number eight. So I just want to have a little more control. Again, with that brush. Just softens that edge. And again. And remember, by the time you've put all those tree bits in, it's going to look quite different. I've just wet my brush and I just want to just manipulate that a little more. You've got quite a bit of time to play if you're keeping it fairly wet. Still there, come here. Gotcha. Now that is starting to dry. Just go back in with a wet brush and just Okay, so it's a question of putting it off, take putting it on, taking it off, putting it on again until you're happy with what you've got. There's quite a nice highlight there, so what I might do is use the shape I've been given, as it were, to make that. So let's just define this line and it can be where the ground starts. Okay, right, let's just let that dry off and coming down here, along here, we need a more yellowy colour. This is the first coat, remember, so to speak. Hello Bruno. No, not, not now darling. No, 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 don't get in the paints, no, they're wet, excuse me everybody, oh, Bruno, my beautiful, relatively new cat, decides to join in every now and then, if you've seen the video I did of the uh, painting the feather, he does make a an appearance there, it's on our YouTube channel. Okay, so we're looking at that bit there. The colour's not right, and it is probably a question of I am going to have to have, as I talked about, maybe some burnt umber 
or something a little warmer but this is just going to give me a sort of a feeling it's, it's like putting markers in in the ground of where you, you think you're going let's just put a bit of that there okay then all this is a brown murk and then we've got the water now if I'm not careful I'm going to run out of space because I've taken quite a lot of sky area so I need to think about getting that bank in let's just do that now with this murkiness can be quite just soften that out it's really really light it's just to give you a marker rather than using a pencil and remember of course you can always use watercolor pencils if that suits you though you do end up with a bit of a line okay so the bridge now where is my drawing of the bridge and I am going to put this in with some very thin raw umber so the angle is sort of like that yeah that will work okay so now I'm going to look at the water down here rinsing my brush off and just putting a bit of grey in. Again, it's just to remind me of where everything's going. And we have shadows here cast by these trees as well. So all these colours will come in useful. Just going to lift off a bit for these highlights in the water, leaving that fairly dark. In fact, looking at that now, I'm just going to, while it's wet, drop in a little bit of raw umber and let that sort itself out. That's a very dark triangle there, so let's just sort of put that in. Again, it's all still fairly light, but it's just given me all these markers to play with. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is let that dry off and come back to it in the next lecture and see where to take it from there.